belonged? To bring me back, no matter how nice that sounds. Well, you can worry about them later. This might be your last chance to see her. Better to regret having gone than never going at all. Got it? This might be your last chance to see her. Better to regret having gone than never going at all. Got it? Now I suggest you hurry. What would I do if I saw Uncle Koss again? Sorry, but what kind of question is that? Do you know something, Akiyama-san? I thought we were here for a get-together with Date-san. Sorry, that was just a hypothetical. But I've told you before, haven't I? How oh, I don't buy that Kiryu-san's actually dead. So if the man were still around, well, I bet he'd pop up out of nowhere on a day like this. Especially with you and Haruto-kun here in Kamurocho of all places. Wait, y I am. At least, hypothetically. <laughs> and now we're back to my original question. If Uncle Kaz really did show up, I'd be really happy to see him alive and well. And... In the same breath, I feel like I'd realize how weak we are on our own. It's been years since everyone at Morning Glory and I heard that Uncle Kaz died. Regardless of whether he's alive or in heaven, we always supported each other so we could meet him with our heads held high. Some of the kids are already all grown up and make enough money to get by on their own. We all admired Uncle Kaz's strength, and when the going got tough, we'd grit our teeth and push through it. So... It wouldn't be right for me to say that I want to see him again, no matter how badly. Because I don't know if I'll ever be ready to face him. I get it, Haruka-chan. You've gotten so strong, Haru. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> Isn't that right, Yumi? You with the Daidoji? We've been keeping an eye on you, you know. Hanawa may be dead, but we are certainly not. Had we not pitied you, we never would have loosened the grip on your leash. It seems we've given you the impression you had the freedom to do whatever you wish. What are you getting at? Let's talk about your detective friend, Date. There are consequences for breaking an agreement. He fails to comprehend that simple of a concept. I must say, it's gotten out of hand. So could you just keep him in line? Then we'll let bygones be bygones. What did you do to him? Follow us if you care to find out. <sighs> Date-san. <clears throat> hey, you okay? What happened? Because you swore to abandon the name Kazuma Kiryu, the Daidoji faction would pose no threat to you or those around you. Detective Date himself witnessed the exchange. He was very much aware of the consequences. Hey! Kiryu. What is it, Date-san? No, hi. Had to go. And then you made Haruka. <sighs> if Kiryu-san had met her, you wouldn't have gotten off this easy. Because right about now, your lungs would be heavy with the water of Tokyo Bay. Wait. 
You didn't see her? Why? She can stand on her own two feet now, and that's good enough for me. I don't have the right to interfere with her life, and I never would have known that without your help. I'm in your debt. Words can't describe how much. Cure you. For now. Let me start by taking care of them. Why don't we all just settle down? You're the ones who broke off the agreement. You only have yourselves to blame. We also heard from Date-san. You're running out of time. He begged us to let you go. Let you run free at the end of your life. Said you'd only be saying your farewells to a loved one. Hilarious, isn't it? You are no longer Kazuma Kiryu. That man is long gone. That was your side of the agreement. Now I want to hear this from your mouth. Kazuma Kiryu is dead. You swore it once. Now swear it again! Seems like you'll bend any which way to please the faction. I almost feel sorry for you. Care to elaborate? I went to Hawaii for a mission from the Daidoji. One I've yet to complete. Which means, you don't have permission to kill me. And the only way you'll stop me is over my dead body. Hey! <clears throat> that was your last chance to pull the trigger. But because the faction won't allow it, you hesitated. Now you'll suffer all the pain my friend endured, and then some. That's why I said I almost felt sorry for you. I'd back off if I were you. Because you just made a terrible mistake! You're finished, Kiryu! Think I'll enjoy this. Time to go all out! It's my turn. That's picking time! Son. <laughs> yeah. Can't go out before the guy who's always ready to die. Sorry. It's my fault you were dragged into this mess. I should have known this would happen, but I went ahead and tried to see Haruka anyway. If I'd held up my end of the bargain, it wouldn't have come to this. But in the end, you had to pay for it. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm only doing this because I want to. Stay back. If you kill me, know that you'll never get away with it. Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. After all, the fault lies with me. Your only mistake was forcing him to pay my dues. If you hadn't done that, I wouldn't have cared what happens to me. Do you think that excuse is what you've done? No. But even if I got on my knees and begged, there's nothing left for me to lose. All I can do now is renew our agreement. I will never try to meet Haruka or any of my friends again, nor try contacting them. And once this business with the Seiryu clan and Palikan is settled, I swear not to get involved with Kasuga and his friends again. Right. That includes Date-san. Kiryu! If you ever cross the Daidoji again, Makoto Date will be the first to go. Don't you forget it. That's all we had to say. Man. Why'd I get stuck with this shitty job? No kidding. Talk about bad luck. I'll take you somewhere to get treated, but after that, we're done. Sheesh. Oh, oh, Who'd have thought I'd get roughed up at this age? Seriously. Maybe next time try not to put yourself in danger, Date-san. Well, it would have been worth it if you'd got to say goodbye to Haruka. Don't worry about it. 
I'm actually feeling pretty good, all things considered. When you're raising kids, there'll be a day you have to set them loose. Haruka and the kids at Morning Glory. They've all grown up strong. There's nothing else I can teach them. And it's better for me to disappear before they figure that out themselves. It's about time I do. For good. After all, I was meant to die back in Hiroshima. And reminds me. Mm -hmm. I got in touch with Haruka and Akiyama earlier. Told them I'd be late because I got in a car accident. An accident, huh? Well, with those injuries, I guess no other excuse would fly. Boy, were they surprised. Especially Akiyama. Once he realized you wouldn't make it, that guy's definitely gonna grill me later. Mind telling him I'm sorry? Pretty sure he'd rather hear that from you. He's gonna start moping again, you know? Yeah. I can definitely see that. I should get going. All right. Hey, you said you were feeling pretty good, right? You saying you have no more regrets in life? Because that's not what this whole thing was about. I don't care what the hell you're sick with. You've given up too much of yourself to it. It's like you're not afraid of dying. You've given up before you see where the chips fall? That's not the cure you I know. What happened to the dragon of Dojima? The man who'd keep fighting even if it's a losing battle. What are the odds of you fighting that illness and winning? Gotta be higher than zero. Yeah, must be. For the past few days, I've met with a bunch of folks who knew the old you. They all remember you as a fighter. Whenever the going gets tough, your memory helps them push through. I'm sure one day they'll find themselves in front of a steep hill, feet rooted to the ground. But if they heard that Kazuma Kiryu dared to fight death itself, now that'd give them the courage to even move mountains. That's the sort of inspiration you instill in the people around you. And that's not all. You give everyone the strength to press forward. So wouldn't it make sense to keep fighting to the very end? I'm not as strong as you think I am. You're giving me too much credit here. Yeah, I'm not buying that. I've stuck by you for a damn long time now. If you were some random, ordinary guy, maybe I would have given up and let you waste away. But there's no way I can just give up on you. After all, you're... You're the best friend I've ever had. Thank you. Everything you just said. Everything you've done for me up till today. Thank you. For all of it. It's true. I could struggle harder, longer. Maybe it'd buy me a little more time. But I'd spend the rest of my life as someone else. Is that really something worth fighting for? The only way to find out is to live. In this world, you never know what might happen. As long as you don't give up, Kazuma Kiryu can find his way back to us. It all depends on if you will it. I hope that one day I'll see things your way. I really do. <sighs> Guess that's enough of that for now. You still have some unfinished business, don't you? Like helping Ichiban cut that guy's quite a handful. You're right. Goodbye, Date-san. Stay safe. Yeah. Goodbye. Kazuma Kiryu. So long, old friend.